Hello everyone and welcome back to another trick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a camera system with a texture quad. Uh, this is a beginner tutorial, so if you are new at circuits, this is an awesome way to start. And yeah, let's go to the video. Alrighty, so this is the overlook on all the circuits that we need. We have the player head position, player head orientation, an update 30 hertz, an if chip, a is valid, get player by account name, snap camera image, textured quad set texture, and a texture constant. So now we are going to hook it up all together. So the is valid is going to be connected to the if, and then the input is going to the output of the get player by account name. You can see we have a player head position and a player head orientation. Basically, we're getting the player head position that will be tracking where the player head is. And then the player head orientation is tracking the rotation of someone's head. So we're going to connect these two to the snap camera image. So the vector on the player head position is going to the camera position. The player head orientation is going to be connected to the camera rotation. I'm going to connect the vent on the if to the input on the snap camera image and the render texture is going to, be, going to be connected to the texture constant. I'm going to move this over some here. When we execute the snap camera image, we're also going to execute the textured quad set texture. The target on our textured quad set texture is going to be the textured squad that I have over to the side. And the value is also going to go to the texture constant. I want the textured quad to see what I'm looking at. so. Right here by the get player by account name, I'm going to put my account name. So there we go, I put my account name. And now the target for these, for the player head position and the player head orientation, I'm going to connect it to the get player by account name. And then I'm going to hook up the 30 hertz to the if. Now as you can see, the textured quad is showing what I'm looking at. So you can see I'm currently looking at you guys, the viewers. Now you can see the textured quad is on me because the get player by account name is set to me. However, if you want anyone to be able to have the textured quad camera snapped onto them, you can just change this out with a button. So what I'm gonna do is go to my watch menu and get a button. I'm gonna place it down right here. First, I'm gonna unhook the event receiver, update 30 hertz. So you can see this is no longer updating. I'm going to delete the get player by account name and replace it with the player who pressed this button. So you can see the target of the player head position and the target of the player head orientation are connected to the player and then so is the is valid. You can also go ahead and configure this, this circuit board and just delete any other cir circuits that are unneeded. So this is pressed, I'll delete. And then I'll also delete the execution and then delete the released. So now all I have is the player that clicked the button. So if I hover over this, you can see that it says invalid player because no one has clicked the button. But when I click the button, it puts my name there. So the textured quad knows to snap to my POV. So if I hook this back up, you can see it goes back to tracking me and anyone who clicks this button will be able to have the camera set to them. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you'd like to see more tutorials, let me know. I will be looking at the comments. So if you want me to make a tutorial on something else, let me know. I'm taking up all ideas, and I'll be making a lot more tutorial videos for you guys. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time.